Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's April 2024 and I am riding a Heritage Classic 114 in Alpine Green. I'm in my 10th year as a rider. Started out on a Sportster XL1200, moved up to a Dynalo rider, which is mid-size cruiser, and I'd put the Heritage in that same category. And I also have a Street Glide Special, so I'm familiar with the three different chassis. And I'm going to give you my impressions of the Heritage Classic. So as you probably know, the Heritage is a throwback to Harley's past. It's a very popular bike. It's changed in recent years as they moved to the new soft tail frame. I always loved the look of the Heritage soft tail on the old soft tail chassis, but from what I understand, that frame wasn't the, the greatest. Um, the new soft tail chassis are fantastic. I've ridden a number of them. This is my first time on one with a 114. And yeah, buddy, touch that throttle and you are moving forward. Uh, it is a beautiful thing. I'm a big chrome guy, so this one looks nice. All right, so let's talk about what this bike feels like. Um, it feels really comfortable. The seat feels really nice. Uh, a couple of the seats I was on today left something to be desired, but this one feels really good. Suspension can be dialed in, but as it is right now, it feels good. I'm six foot even and uh, 32 inch inseam. And my riding position is great. I'm not leaned forward, my back is straight up, the floorboards are in a perfect spot. The stability of bike feels fantastic. The brakes are really nice and grabby. The controls are very much the traditional Harley layout. So not much to get used to there. If you're familiar with Harleys, you can just jump on this bike and go. Um, but otherwise, I think it is something you get used to pretty quickly. I love the look of the instrument cluster down on the tank. That's how my low riders laid out. It's really a nice look. Function-wise, I don't like it. I don't like having to look down that far. Actually, it's easier looking at this one, a lot easier than on my low rider. Maybe that's just the way my bike is, but the turn signals are down there. Right now I have the LCD in RPM mode. You don't really need that, I don't think, but it's kind of cool to have. So it's pretty minimalist in terms of gauges and obviously no nav and radio and all that stuff. But it is the classic Harley design, a modern take on it. Uh, the 114 engine is amazing. I mean, the Milwaukee 8 in general, they had some problems in the first couple of years with the oil pump. But once that settled in, the 107, the 114, um, these are just really great. It is so powerful, this, this 114. I mean, this 114 powers a touring bike. The 107 powered a touring bike. And you've got this lighter, soft tail frame with a 114. I mean, you can really fly on this thing. And hopefully we'll get to do that at a couple spots on this ride. <laughs> yeah, that front brake. Wow, I'm just touching it. It's, um, it's grabby. Harleys aren't known for their rear brakes, I'll say that, but you do want to use them together. Unless, of course, you're going very slow and in a turn. Otherwise, you will meet the pavement. <clears throat> you know, turning this bike, very easy, very uh, confident. Um, doesn't feel as low as what I'm used to on a street glide, but 
not too high. Like my Sportster was definitely a higher bike. This is kind of in between. Obviously, you're not going to get a deep exhaust note on a stock bike, but you can hear, you can hear it. It's in there. Just need a pipe swap, some different slip-ons, and uh, she will let you know she's there. Position of handlebars is really good. The mirrors are good. You can see really well behind me. You know, Harley's really refined all their bikes in recent years. I know some people really like the older engines and the raw. And, you know, you can customize a lot and, and get close to that, but very reliable I mean in 10 years and three different bikes other than one time where I had some battery a battery cable that was loose which was my fault um, I've never had an issue with a breakdown or anything nice big gas tank um, people tour on these you have the smaller saddlebags comfort wise you can absolutely lay down some miles even on the highway no question. Such a pleasure to ride the Heritage. All right, let's take the the other angle. What don't I like? What stinks on this bike? Well, nothing's jumping out as, as stinking. And there isn't anything specific I can point to on this model that I don't like. Um, I love the look of it, but I think if it was going to be my only bike, I'd want something a little more sporty looking or maybe a little cleaner. I don't necessarily like those Heritage saddlebags, look of that, but that's that's what it is. That's the Heritage. The powertrain is amazing. Performs, sounds good, looks good. like the heritage seat you can spend some time in this seat and you're gonna be fine it really does come set up nicely right out of the box it's taking these curves with ease my bike to commute to work to do eh, 50 to 70 mile rides on a weekend when I feel like it sometimes I'll do like a longer ride day I feel like you could do all of that on this heritage my dyna low rider is definitely not the best for a real like multi hundred ride day uh, but I feel you could do that on this Heritage very easily. And you can keep up with anybody. <laughs> very torquey. Twist and go. But the look up front with the riding lights, I've always liked that. The, it, you can't have too much light. You just can't. And I've always liked that this model has those lights. question got to get me a 114 someday beautiful engine if you're thinking about a heritage test ride will definitely answer it for you but it's no surprise these are so popular there's something about the big touring bike the street Clyde it just it's got a feel all its own and I would really miss it if I didn't have it. But I absolutely love complementing it with my Dyna. And if something ever happened to my Dyna, I would absolutely go with one of these soft tail models. 
Um, they're lighter, snappier. Um, <laughs> this would smoke my Street Glide, no question. Yeah, these are really nice bikes, guys. Well, thanks for watching my video and coming along with me. Please like and subscribe if you would. It really helps my channel.